welcome back in the previous lecture we have learned how to create this function module through the shdb bdc recording now we'll create a simple web program and in that program we'll call this function module so here i'll go to transition code sc38 i'll create here like z v02 update lifks v1 and give the like title like set reset so that is sales order delivery block i will create as executable program i will save in a package i will save in a transport request and on selection screen i will create two fields as a parameter p underscore vbeln of type vbakvbeln and p underscore LIFSK of type same VBAK LIFSK, but this I will display <coughs> as a list box, visible length, let's say 40, and the self order number I will make as a obligatory field here. I will go to text element and will assign the standard <coughs> data element text. Go back now after this like the start of selection end of selection and in between days i will write like perform call bdc fm i'm calling the bdc function model fine and here we have to click on this pattern. Enter our function model name ZVA02 set delivery block V1, which we have created in the previous lecture. Fine. So I will just press I will just press here. Enter. Okay. And here what we have to do. See <clears throat> Top three, let's say we'll pass. I will open only this one. This mode is like this will control whether we want to see run in the background mode or front end mode. And I will open those three. Size of RC also I want. Let's open BDC messages also. Okay, I will set one breakpoint here. Like break KZFR. Fine. So here the important thing is see. On the selection screen, I use VBELN and LIFKZ of this type. But if you go to function model, here we can see the associated type is BDC data field value. So we have to pass the value only in this data type. So what we'll do here, here we'll declare some local data variable. So I will define like LV underscore VBELN of type BDC data field value. I will define LV underscore LI LIFSK of type again the same. I want one LV underscore like psi sub RC of type psi sub RC. And for the BDC data, the message tab. I have to check the BDC message type is like this. So we'll declare one message type table. Okay, I'm just giving message underscore tab type is standard table of type is standard table of that BDC messages. And all this we need to pass here, like LV underscore size of RC message underscore tab fine and here this will i will replace with lv underscore vbeln and this i will replace with lv underscore lifk set fine and uh, what i will do here we have to assign the value like lv underscore vbeln from the selection screen vbeln 
and LV underscore LIFSK T underscore LIFSK and this local variable we are passing here. <clears throat> Fine. Message tab is unknown. Okay, it is MEG. I will change this to message. Okay, so what I will do now on selection screen, I will take one field also for mode. Let me check the value for that mode. So in data type, this is the data type. We'll pass that mode also from the selection screen. Not here. <clears throat> Let's select before that. P underscore mode type default. See, first I am selecting. I will run in the A mode. That is display all screen. Okay, then we'll run in the background mode. So here I will pass here P underscore mode. Fine. So here I will just write. I will write here LV underscore. See, you can uh, like type your meaningful message. If size of RC equal to zero, if it is success, you can write like record of the data successfully, else error while writing the record. I'm just passing the size of RC value on the screen. Fine, in the messages, we can see the message tab. So all done. So what I will do now before that, see this is my current sales order, this is in display mode. So in the display mode, we can see currently it is blank. I will come out of this, okay? And what I will do, Okay, let's run the run the program now. So here my sales order number is this. First, I'm running in the A mode, that is display mode. Let me set the value as 50. Okay, I will execute C because I given the mode as A. You can see all the data. Shipping tab value is getting updated as 50. Delivery block. If I click on save button. So the breakpoint is triggered now. So you can see size of RC equal to zero. Based on this, you can write, you can write the messages. Okay, message tab is S. I will enter size of RC equal to zero. Let's again go back into sales order number and check the shipping tab. See it is 50 now. Because I run in the foreground mode, that's why we are able to see that. Okay, so what I will do, I will Comment this breakpoint. I will comment this breakpoint now. Okay. And now this time I will pass this in N mode. And let's say change the value to 07. Again, if I execute size of RC equal to 0. And here at the bottom we can see say sort of change. Again, go to VS03. Go to header tab shipping C07. Okay, so in this way, we will learn like first how to create a function model through SHDB recording. And after that, we have created a web program and we have called that function model in the web program. So in this way, we have done with this session. Thank you.